Hi, everybody. Uh, so this is a look at the new uh, Profile Sweep uh, Assembly preset. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with the P-Fusion kit, which came out back around Moto 901, I think, there was a version of this there. Um, it's uh, pretty much the same thing. It's been updated to uh, work with the new Mesh Fusion workflow that was uh, introduced in the 10 series. And the nice thing about those changes is that it really made it less uh, fusion specific. It can be used just as a nice uh, way of creating uh, procedural profile sweeps, whether you're using it in conjunction with Mesh Fusion or not. So uh, let's look at it in a Mesh Fusion uh, context. I'm going to take this uh, so called box tab mesh and turn it into a Fusion item using the new Fusion button here. And uh, then we're just going to go ahead and uh, subtract a hole using this uh, default configuration of the profile sweep assembly. And because of the new workflow, it's uh, very easily done. You used to have to wire this up in the schematic, but now you can just drag and drop the swept geometry on to the uh, mesh fusion source mesh and select the type of fusion you would like to perform. In this case, I'm uh, selecting fusion apply subtraction, which means we will be subtracting our swept uh, cylinder from that box tab. And uh, there we have it. And at any time we can easily uh, change that profile by going to the uh, preset browser. And uh, here I have some B spline presets that were uh, created as part of the P Fusion kit. I'm selecting one of those in the preset browser and then clicking on the lower half of this little polygonal widget here and then selecting import preset profile. Now, I've noticed there is a little glitch here in that the Fusion item doesn't always update. The first time you do this, uh, subsequent imports should uh, trigger it automatically. Or you can do what I've done here and just uh, move the profile sweep path a bit to uh, trigger the update. And remember that just as uh, before with the earlier versions of this uh, sweep assembly, the path is how you control the uh, location and orientation of the sweep. Of course, you could also uh, make it a non-linear path if uh, so desired. And as you can see here, all subsequent uh, profile imports do update the Fusion item automatically. The assembly also supports the use of a mesh for the profile as opposed to the uh, spline-based profiles that we were getting from the preset browser there. So here I have a, a mesh in the scene and I am going to simply drag and drop that mesh onto the profile portion of the profile sweep preset. One of the nice things about using a polygon for your profile, in a case like this where the mesh consists of a nice set of quad polygons, it makes a very suitable cap for the sweep. And while it is not necessary to cap these sweeps, when using them on a fusion item in the way you see here where they, where they drill all the way through. Uh, when you do have the ability to uh, turn on that capping option of the uh, procedural sweep, it provides some additional options that naturally come with having a closed mesh. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, nothing about this is fusion specific. Here's the same sweep, uh, just never uh, attached to a fusion item. So it's just a regular uh, procedural mesh, and all the same options of using polygons or uh, curves for your profile are still there. And um, one good thing to note, though, is that when used with Mesh Fusion, these sweeps are always interpreted as Catmull Clark surfaces, and that's why we have this cage option turned on uh, in the procedural uh, sweep. Um, if you are using uh, splines, and you're not attaching it to Mesh Fusion, you might want to turn that option off so that you get an interpolated spline extruded along your sweep path, like we see here. So, rule of thumb, if your intent is to use your sweep as a Mesh Fusion source mesh, you want curve cage on, because really what you're doing is creating a cage that Mesh Fusion will convert into a Catmull Clark surface. And if you're just creating a polygonal uh, mesh uh, that you are not planning on using as a mesh fusion source mesh, you probably want curve cage off, especially if your profile is a spline. That way the sweep mesh op will interpolate 
the curves of your spline into a uh, polygonal mesh. All right, uh, that's it for this one. Uh, see you next time.